Hey guys, this is Luco here, and I just wanted to show you uh, some quick action here on uh, Dead Island. One of these specials that you have to be very aware of is actually an exploding zombie, and I will show you in just a second here. Okay, you see that is an exploding zombie, and the best way to deal with these guys... Let's see, will it show me his name? Is to uh, actually just throw a weapon at them. A very high damage weapon uh, would be preferred, as this weapon has quite a bit of damage on it. It's a green item, so it's it's uh, rarer than, than, you know, just your standard white stuff. Anyway, that is one way to deal with, uh, deal with those exploding zombies. You just kind of throw your weapon at them, and uh, we'll bring you the next one here in just a moment. Alright, so we're going to show you another uh, one of these boss guys. I'm using my... Uh, my shock made home homemade sh uh, machete here and we're just gonna show you how to uh, attack these guys now these guys are the straight jacket guys they're, they're they're huge people they're in a straight jacket all they can do is kick you and what they do is they charge you and what you want to do is you actually want to just sidestep and come in behind and just slice up them because ow and they do kick you and you want to kind of watch out for that because if you don't well then you're gonna have uh, a lot of trouble. I actually got seven hundred and forty-eight dollars off of that guy. So that's pretty good. But that is essentially how you engage these monstrosities, uh, because they are in a straight jacket. All they can do is kick you with the massive legs, and it does hurt quite a bit. As you saw, my health drop right, you know, quite a bit from uh, being kicked by him. Uh, and but that is all you do. Actually, is when you engage them, I uh, just kind of wait for them wait for them to come to you and as soon as they get to you you want to jump and sidestep see how quick and easy that is jump and sidestep and then just keep moving to the side and turn around and follow them until they stop and they'll have a fit or if they hit a wall like you saw here then um, you know they'll they'll kinda stagger a little bit but that's kinda how you engage them that's how I engage them anyway if anybody has any other ways to engage them please let me know uh, I'd like to try them out see if they work any better but yeah you kinda uh, get them from behind and that's about it you t um, yeah attack and we'll uh, we'll bring you the next one here shortly alright this is the last one I'm gonna show you uh, this is actually one of the very first ones you guys engage nice hit there He's still up. There we got that guy. And he didn't have any loot. Anyway, this is one of the very first guys you engage. Uh, they're big, brutal guys. They basically, they're really slow, they're dumb. They swing in their arms, they knock you back, they do a knockback. And it uh, hurts quite a bit. So what I'm actually going to do is use a sharp weapon, a machete. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to actually kick them to kind of knock them back and then back up so that they just swing. You see when he does that, when he roars? Yeah, that's actually when you want to hit them because I'm staying just out of range of his arms. And you see there I got a little too close as I was trying to kick him to, uh, to uh, knock him back a little bit. Now that's exactly when you want to attack and you can go for two different types of attacks. Uh, I like to go for the arms, so we're gonna kick, ow. <laughs> not doing so well here and you may you may get hit quite a bit uh, trying this technique but see how he's screaming now I'm gonna come in and I'm actually gonna cut off his arm or attempt to anyway well that was a big fail and I'm almost dead I can't take any more hits like that I'm gonna grab a soda real quick right, energy drink give me some energy is this guy dead? he's dead storage keys I got some storage keys that guy's right behind me yeah, you probably don't want to turn your back on him like I did. See, so you, you kick him, let him do that, and then let him scream. Then cut off an arm and back up and do it again. And just go for the other arm this time. If you can, try and get behind him or circle around him. And that's pretty much all you do for that. It's kind of a, of a difficult thing to do because these guys do have quite a reach on them. Uh, so you will probably want to test it and mess around with it before you um, fully go out and uh, try and get these guys. But yeah, uh, essentially those guys, the easiest way to take them out, at least for me, is to take their arms off 
so that way they can't swing at you you can get in closer as well as um, um, you know dance around them a little more and that kind of kind of is difficult too because once their arms are gone they try to bite you and that's that's just kind of what they do anyway this has been uh, Luco with Luco's World and I was happy to bring you guys this uh, little demo of these three uh, mobs that I've engaged so far the exploding one that one in the straight jacket and uh, this big brutal guy now I, I don't know the official names for him so I'm not really worried about knowing the official names for him because you, once you see them you kinda understand what they are and what I'm explaining anyway this has been Luco and thank you thank you guys for watching subscribe and like this video uh, just if you uh, if you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time